The Target 12 investigators continue to look more closely into state coronavirus numbers. And while we saw a rise in cases among young adults after college students returned to school this fall, we're now seeing cases go up within other age groups. And Target 12 investigative reporter, reporter that is Eli Sherman, has been tracking the data from the start of the pandemic and joins us now via Zoom. And Eli, we've all heard stories about the cases going up at the colleges, of course. So what is the data telling us right now? Yeah, the, we're starting to see cases go up in other age groups. Like you mentioned, uh, for the last couple of weeks or months, really, we've seen cases go up at colleges and universities, a couple of clusters at Providence College and the University of Rhode Island. Uh, but state leaders are really sort of starting to sound the alarm this week about seeing community spread outside of the schools. Um, and for, we're seeing that come up in the data. For example, we saw over the last couple of weeks that cases have more than doubled in, among people who are 50 years within, you know, 50 to 60 years old. And we're seeing similar spikes um, in the 40 to 30s to 40s range. And uh, Eli hospitalizations are also increasing. Which age group are we seeing more at the hospital? Yeah, so as of late, that is skewed older. Um, and that's reflective of what we've seen throughout the pandemic. Most health experts uh, agree that, you know, COVID-19 has adverse effects on people who are older and uh, those with underlying conditions. What's interesting, when we were seeing all those cases among younger adults, we weren't seeing any correspondent spikes in hospitalizations. But over the last couple of weeks, hospitalizations are now up on, you know, they're on the rise. And that's when we've been seeing cases among older adults. And Eli, we've been hearing a lot uh, in previous months about the potential for things getting worse in the fall, cold and flu season. Um, so I'm wondering, and I'm sure people at home are wondering too, does this data signal maybe the start of a second wave? Yeah, the, the governor was asked that yesterday. We asked her again today. I think her response was something like, I hope not. Um, but, you know, she didn't dismiss it outright. And uh, some of her top health advisors, including medical director, um, Dr. James McDonald. He spoke to us yesterday and he said, you know, people have to get a lot more serious about wearing their masks, basically around anyone who's not their immediate family. And if they don't, uh, based on current trends, things could get a lot worse much quicker. Eli, we so appreciate you taking these numbers and putting them into context because I feel like it's easy to sit at home and see and say, those numbers aren't me, it's not my neighborhood, it's not my age group, and this paints a picture that at, at this point it's kind of spanning a lot of different age groups. So we really appreciate all the work you're doing. Welcome, Shannon. It's a lot. <laughs> a lot to take, uh, to take in and to keep track of. But Eli has a full breakdown on all of those demographics, coronavirus cases, those charts that you saw on your screen. You can check them out right now on WPRI.com.